the legal landscape of psychedelics is very interesting. A lot of people call it gray market. It's very much black market. We had a launch event for our nonprofit called the Microdosing Collective. We asked for a show of hands of who in the audience was currently microdosing or had before. Pretty much everyone's hands went up and people in the United States are still going to jail for this. You were like, okay, I have this crazy idea. We should start a nonprofit to legalize microdosing supplements. This needs to be available. There certainly needs to be regulation involved, but you don't need to have a facilitator there present with you when you're microdosing. So all of the regulation so far that's been put into place for high doses is not relevant for microdosing because it's like comparing apples to oranges. It's just not the same. And so I think with what we're doing with Microdosing Collective, this to me is that wedge where the initiative that we're pushing, the awareness that we're building, and eventually the policy that we will help to implement is going to be so, so important to ensuring that everyone has access to these medicines.